Hello, person on the internet! If you're watching this, I assume that you've discovered the SBM Jukebox mod and are just trying to figure out, alright, this is awesome, but what the heck do I need to do to actually automate it? And the answer is... absolutely nothing. As of version 1.0.7, jukeboxes will automatically lock when a disc is playing, just like on Bedrock. Well folks, I hope you found this video informative. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all the... No, I'm kidding. Uh, there's still some reasons why you might want to watch this video. You might want to put in a delay between when one track ends and another begins. You could be playing on a version of Minecraft before 1.19.1, in which case this functionality wouldn't have been supported. You could be using, I don't know, a custom mod that someone developed where you could add your own music and therefore it didn't make sense to hard code in a track length for each track. Bottom line, I'm going to explain to you with Redstone how you can do this, so buckle up. So the first thing you're going to need to do, and honestly this goes without saying, you're going to need to download the mod. I use Fabric. This is the Fabric version. They also have a Forge version. They're both up on Cursed Forge. They're also both up on GitHub if you want to just download the jars from there or download it and build it yourself if you're super pro like that. Now the thing about this mod is, prior to 1.19.2, all this mod could do was add an inventory to the jukebox so that droppers and hoppers can put things in, and so hoppers can take things out. It couldn't add the other Bedrock parody feature of actually locking the hopper while the thing was playing until 1.19.2. All it does is allow you to put things in and take things out via redstone. What that means for us, though, is that to actually make a functional jukebox that can play playlists, we're going to need to do a little bit of work. So here's your basic setup. You've got a hopper pointing into a jukebox to feed music discs in, another hopper below to pull the music discs out and store them in a chest or barrel or shulker or whatever you want. But as you see, it doesn't really work because uh, unlike in Bedrock, where a playing jukebox will lock the hopper below, in Java it will not. Uh, so instead we have to lock it ourselves manually using a redstone torch in this case. You could use whatever you wanted really. And now you see it's working, the music is playing. But the problem is, when the song ends, it's not like it's going to turn off that redstone torch, so the only way to get the next one to play is to boop it out yourself. Not very convenient when we're going for a full automated setup, right? So what we're going to need is some sort of pulse signal. Uh, a button actually wouldn't do this. The only way that I could figure out how to do this manually was with flipping on and off a lever really fast. Obviously, that's not going to work for automation. Now, to control when that pulse gets generated, we're going to need some sort of clock. There's a billion redstone clocks out there. The one I will be using is a shulker slash hopper clock. The idea is pretty simple. You put as many items as you need into a shulker box. You put that shulker box onto a hopper. And then once I break that redstone torch, items are going to start flowing out at 2.5 items per second. Uh, behind that shulker box is a comparator. The comparator is reading a signal, sending it to a redstone torch. And then once the shulker is empty, the comparator turns off, which turns on the torch, and we have a signal. Now to convert our clock's signal into the pulse needed by our hopper, we're going to use something called a rising edge detector, or RED. There's a whole bunch of RED designs out there. They all do the same thing, which is when we send in a signal, uh, when it goes from off to on, it lets the signal through, but only for a pulse. Uh, and not when we go from on to off. See, on to off didn't do anything. And that's basically all of the core fundamentals of this system. And everything after is just sugar. So hey, let's go ahead and talk about that sugar. So what I have here is my own outdoor concert venue that I've got hooked up to a jukebox and a whole redstone area. Uh, and we're just going to go down and have a look at it. The setup is, you know, really clean and simple. I have hoppers and music discs. I'm going to put the music discs in this hopper. Uh, bop, bop, bop. There we go. And then over here is where I'm going to load up some shulker boxes that are full of items. So, bop, 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 bop. I've got four shulker boxes. Now you might be thinking four shulker boxes, three music discs. Uh, how does that work? And the, how that works is I really don't want to be listening to music sitting under here. So when I boop this, the first shulker is going to go in, and I'm going to have like 30 seconds to get to my seats up here. Oh, this is so much of a better view. Look at this. It's so great. And then when the music starts, now, woohoo, uh, you're going to see actually something cool has kicked off. I even got some redstone going on top to provide a little bit of a light show to go with the music show. So yeah, now I can boogie up here, and I can really enjoy the view, and I don't have to sit down there and just sit in the orchestra pit like a loser. I say this as someone who, you know 
performed in an orchestra pit at one point in my uh, young life. So now let's go up ahead and peek back and look at how all this redstone works. So yeah, this is fairly cramped down here uh, and you know, ignore the uh, non-functional, not doing anything um, item, uh, sorry, armor stands. Uh, but yeah, you've got a whole bunch of complicated redstone, but the primary bits are, uh, there's the jukebox. So there is some lines feeding into the, uh, the powering, the, the, uh, hoppers that are going into and out of the, the jukebox. And then over, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, uh, here there is a shulker that's being unloaded and you can see items are being taken out 2.5 seconds or 2.5 items per second. And, uh, then you've got this comp Comparator right here that is reading the contents of that. So when it goes empty, you've got the red detector right there. That's going to uh, power piston. That's going to break that shulker and uh, unlock the hopper to, or the dropper to um, send out the next one. It's also going to unlock both of these uh, hoppers in sequence. And then what about all this? Well, that is to power the light show. So up here, this is, by the way, I'm pretty sure causing horrible, horrible lag, but it's fine. And, you know, it does produce kind of a nice little uh, effect. So I'm, I'm happy with it, at least for now. I'm sure that people who actually know the redstone. Anyway, so I uh, fast forward here a little bit because we're waiting for the track to end and you're going to see that when the track ends, there's a little boop there. That torch went off and it went ahead and captured the first disc. Yay! Um, so a really important note, if you are using the newest version of the SBM jukebox mod on 1.0, 19.1 or above, you really need to make sure to get the track timings absolutely right and or just add a little bit of buffer afterwards because if that torch goes off and the disc is still playing and the jukebox is still locked, it won't pull out the disc and then when the disc finishes playing, the hopper will be locked again so again won't pull out the disc until the next track finishes and that just leads to everything getting out of sync. You do not want that happening. It happened a ton in my testing and just, you know, add a little bit of buffer. It's fine. Or just, you know, don't use Redstone for automation and make sure that any mods that add custom discs add discs with the appropriate track lengths. And yeah, that's how I can have a fully functional little performance area in my world automated with Redstone. Folks, I hope you found this tutorial enjoyable. My name is OpenBag2 and I hope you have a good one.